Hello there, welcome to the Maritime, Offshore, and Energy Channel. This video, will be another addition to the history series, with the introduction of the legendary converted LNG carrier called, Methane Pioneer. Methane Pioneer was no ordinary vessel. It started out as a cargo ship, built in 1945 and named Marlin Hitch. The vessel, was an Alamosa-class cargo ship, built to support the World War II effort. However, when the war came to an end in September 1945, the vessel became a Navy surplus. It was sold to Compañía Naviera Pacifico in 1946, and renamed, Don Aurelio. It registered and flagged under Panama. The showcased picture is the Don Aurelio in 1949 at Long Beach, California. In 1951, Don Orleo was sold to Norgulf Shipping, and renamed Nomarty. It was in operation from 1951, until 1957, where it was then sold to, British Gas Council, for the LNG conversion. Normarty, was converted into a LNG tanker, at Alabama Dry Dock and Shipbuilding Company, in Mobile, Alabama. It was delivered in 1958 and renamed aptly to Methane Pioneer. The project was funded by the British Gas Council and was operated by a joint venture company called Constock International Methane. SIM was formed as a partnership between Conoco and Union Stockyards, and renamed Conk International Methane when Shell joined in 1959. She, had a capacity of 5,000 meter cube of LNG. Methane Pioneer was allocated the call sign GBHU. This is a sketch, of the conversion plan of the Methane Pioneer. It had five aluminium tanks, installed to load the 5,000 meter cube of LNG. We are going to assume each tank had a capacity of 1,000 meter cube of LNG. On January 25, 1959, the MV Methane Pioneer, left the Calcasieu River, on the Louisiana Gulf Coast, with the world's first ocean cargo of LNG, and sailed to the UK. The experimental ship, reached its destination at Canvey Island, on the River Thames, UK, on 20th of February 1959, taking about 27 days, to cross the Atlantic Ocean. It was in service from 1959 to 1972, and made about 30 voyages, between both facilities. This proved the concept, and the LNG cargo business, was of to a start, as all good things, it will come an end. Methane Pioneer stopped servicing the route as newer and much more efficient LNG carriers took its place. It was renamed Aristotle, to become a storage barge and decommissioned in 1972. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, and like the videos to support us. A little goes a long way.